What's up mga kap? And today's discussion is if you are a nurse, practicing nurse, a registered nurse in the Philippines or working in the Middle East, the question now is do I need a certification or training to practice a continuing care assistant here in Nova Scotia? So that's our question for today. Before we start, I would like to invite you to join our Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum. It's a Facebook group. Just click the link on the description below. And of course, I would like to ask you a favor. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So if you are a registered nurse in your country or in the Philippines, or you are currently working as a nurse in other countries, a country or working in the Middle East, the question now is, can I apply for continuing care assistant? So before we discuss this, I want you to know that a continuing care assistant is like a caregiver or nursing aide in a nursing home. So here in Nova Scotia, they call it continuing care assistant. So don't be confused guys, when you say continuing care assistant, it means it's like a nursing aid. It's like a caregiver that are working in a nursing home. Here in Nova Scotia, if you are a registered nurse from different country, from Philippines or other countries, you are eligible to apply for continuing care assistant. You can apply a continuing care assistant provided that you have an ongoing NNAS application. So what is an NNAS application? The NNA, NNAS application is one way or one of the requirements to process your nursing registration here in Canada. NNAS is an organization that evaluates your work experience, your nursing registration in your country, and your experience. So you need this NNAS application before you apply to a nursing home or to a home care and apply for a continuing care assistant. This information is based from my experience. I came here as a registered nurse and then I was accepted um, in a big facility is Shanex. They accepted me as continuing care assistant and they didn't ask for certificate or they didn't, they didn't ask for certification or training. What they did ask is my NNAS application and they asked me, are you currently processing your nursing registration. So that's the only question they asked me aside from the usual interview. They asked me if I'm processing my nursing registration and I say yes and they show they ask for a proof and the proof that you can show to them that you are processing your registration is the NNAS. Okay? So the question, the answer to the question is yes, you can apply as a CCA or continuing care assistance if you are a nurse in other countries. So if you are a nurse in the Philippines, you can apply for a CCA here in Nova Scotia as long as you provide a proof that you're processing your nursing registration. So in the question to the AIPP, sir, my question is, I'm in the Philippines and I want to uh, process my my documents or my visa under EIPP. The question is, can I apply for a CCA? The answer is yes, because most of the employer, most of the designated employer, they cannot hire you abroad for a nursing position. Why? Because nursing position is uh, regulated. So you need to have a registration, you need to be registered, uh, to be uh, to practice your nursing. So the CCA, since you are a nurse in the Philippines, you are a nurse from other country, you are eligible or you can work as a CCA. 
So if you are applying for AIPP and you are a registered nurse, I would suggest to apply for CCA instead of a registered nurse. So I hope uh, you find it helpful and share this video to all your nursing friends. Thank you guys. Uh, by the way, I'm Joey Moreno. Follow me on my social media. It's When in Halifax. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to When in Halifax. Bye, Cap. Thank <laughs> you.